So, now we're walking up, or rather I am anyway, walking up Ben Nevis, which is quite nice. See if I can paint you a picture. That's the Glen of Nevis, which isn't as interesting. Lots of quite good sheep though. So the path has just made of these big boulders, essentially. Must be a party when they're all frozen. And though we've got a pretty good snow line, the weather must be fairly, fairly exceptional today. They warn of mist descending rapidly, but I'm not sure that's going to happen today. So, here I am, about to uh, give it one third of the way up Ben Nevis on this appallingly lovely Scottish day in the Highlands and I've uh, done a terrible thing I've brought the wrong whisky at least I did bring a whisky and this lovely Glen Farkless hip flask which I picked up from the distillery earlier but um, alas, it's Glen Morangy so uh, a uh, comedy of errors going on there in my defence, I did try, but uh, Glenfiddich was closed, or rather, Ben Nevis was closed, um, it being a Sunday, which I'll forgive them for. But, never mind. Ah, so I'll have a wee nip of that now. Um, not in all honesty to warm me up, but to um, cool me down, because it's a hell of a warm day for the end of winter, but never mind. Mm, there we go. Save the refugee dogs some trouble. Ooh. I don't imagine I will make it to the summit today because um, a mountaineer I am not and uh, neither is my gear so we'll see how far we get might go up to the, um, the tarn, whatever they call them up here the uh, floating lake, that looked quite nice on the brochure anyway, I'll give you a wee look what I'm seeing up here Glen of Nevis no distilleries, sadly. Anyway, let's see how far we get. Right, just uh approaching the snow line now, as you can see behind me fairly high it's getting a wee bit slippery now too sort of goes on and on, but never mind stick to the dry patches Sam's not going up this bit, so don't, um, don't worry What the Johns? Looking like the weather might be coming, coming around a wee bit too, but that's okay. We're not very far from the car park, really, and I do have a spare jacket. Why should I go that one to Sam? Never mind. Still climbing now. Getting to wonder where that lake is. Can't be far away though. Woo. Wonder if they give me a discount at the distillery if I show them the footage. That are all the correct boots.
Ooh, lovely track though. Nice and sound with all these rocks. Ooh, it's a bit like the reverse of the floor is lava, really. Only it's the floor is frozen. Crevassy death. Don't want to stand in the wrong place. Well, that's better. Right, we'll cool this up in the snow line. More or less. It's a bit chillier up here, which is nice. Again, I'm glad I brought the correct footwear. It's rather um, densely packed, the snow up here. Not too fresh. Uh, but anyway, I still don't think I'm anywhere near the summit. I think that could be, it might be up there. Um, it's supposed to be the highest mountain in Britain, so I guess you just. I guess you just look for the highest one, really, oh dear, um, and it works like that, so that's that's probably pretty indicative, and that's still a bit high up, and it looks um, cold, so see how we go, gee, you could do some tobogganing down here for a little while, ah, hope the phone isn't too shaky, but that's just sort of what you're getting, really, won't be any worse than a GoPro. All the streams are more or less going, so I think we're still, we're melting rather than freezing at this time of year, coming into spring, just as you guys come into autumn. Oh, some snow went past then, I wonder if that's a bad sign. Well, oh, probably okay. There's some people up here. They've got the poles. So that's the lake there, frozen at the moment, but I bet you wouldn't want to walk on it. And the track goes around there and then probably probably back around to the summit, but I think it would be quite or at least slightly irresponsible to go up there, so I will just see if I can get a view off the other face here without falling off and um, come back down for lunch, I think. But it is lovely up here. Really pretty good. You know how they say McDonald's tastes different in every country? Chocolate and digestives. Exactly the same. Well, there you go. There's a food mystery. Mmm. Quite odd. Some places are quite, quite powdery, but there must have been a brief melt along the top of the snow, and then a refreeze. Because in some places it's like there's just a shell with nothing underneath it except more snow, and then some more powdery snow on the top of that. So it's like, oh dear, it's gone down a hole. Oh, on the top of that. So it must freeze partially and that creates sort of a shelf um, for people to fall through so that's good mostly alright though, although that's gone down the boot now, that's going to be really good never mind here's the lake close up which I won't try and go on, but it's probably fairly frozen I should think I don't have anything to throw sadly the rocks are all under the snow. Never mind. Now the trick is to avoid those smooth bits. Because that's where it's secretly deep and there's sometimes water underneath. So just sort of go up over the top. Much easier. It looks like the local wildlife can just run over the top, but I guess they weigh a little bit less than me. Oh, is a bad one. Maybe let's go around here. 
<laughs> Let's see. When I go down a hole. Aha! Look at that! I am a rabbit. Ooh, it's one of those stones from Skyrim. Ooh, that sounds a bit like I'm on ice. Never mind. Mm. So, with the rather uh, the serious bit of Ben Never Summit behind me, which I will not attempt because I have not brought the appropriate clothing, I will say ah, this has been the Single Malt Review Destination Scotland. And here seems the appropriate place to say Sanja and farewell to the Highlands and the distilleries and farewell to Scotland itself as I will be moving south into England and then onwards onwards to France. So it's the end of Destination Scotland, um, but the beginning of Destination France. I don't expect it to be nearly as exciting, but we will go on a bit of a quest there to see what they drink on the continent. I'll tell you right here, it won't be as exciting, but I hear they make some pretty good grape liquor over there. They call it cognac. So we'll see what we can hunt down and have we look at. And then after that, it's Germany, where I uh, might be forced to drink wine. We'll just have to see, because I'm not a big schnapps man. Anyway, in the meantime, keep safe, as I'm doing. Cheers. Hey.